So I just got here. This is the wall that I'm gonna be working on and let's just get to it. Hey everyone, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I got this project. So someone reached out to me through TikTok, saw my work, really loved what I was doing and just moved to Charlotte and wanted me to paint a Chrome Hearts mural in his living room. I think it's very important to put yourself out there through social media accounts and through whatever platform you want to choose just because I have no idea how I would have got this project if I didn't. So if you're not putting yourself out there, try gaining the courage to do so. I promise you that your work is way better than you imagine. And who knows, maybe you get a project just like this and you start doing murals. We're back for day two. And today I'm gonna complete this. I'm gonna complete this mural. You'll see, you'll see. Okay, so, the walls look a little streaky. I'm not liking how the background white looks. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's, get a roller and a roller can, and um, add another freaking coat. Here we go. Before I started working on this mural, I just completed another mural like a day before. My energy levels were extremely low, but because I had a commitment to the client to get this mural done before I was leaving the Europe in the next three days, I was committed to get it done and make sure that I did it in a manner that I was comfortable with and to do it to his satisfaction. So. It was a project that really tested my patience, my skills, and my energy levels to see if I could really handle this. But my advice to you is don't ever do that to yourself just because you really don't want to put yourself in a bind and you truly want to take care of your health, your mental health, and um, you really want to also make sure that your creativity levels are you know, sustain for longer projects and later projects in your career. Yo, bro, so tell me what Chrome Hearts is all about. Uh, Chrome Hearts is actually a, um, a Hollywood brand that started back in like the late 80s. Okay. Uh, but uh, as far as style, like they go like with the pretty, like the, the, early, the late 80s, early 90s, grunge kind of style. And um, mm. I kind of fell in love with that over like the last six months. Um, it wasn't, it didn't become a mainstream uh, line until probably like maybe the last five years. Okay. When like, you know, bigger celebrities like started wearing it. What um, celebrities, what celebrities wear them? So, Drake did a collab with them. Oh, get out of uh, here. For uh, Certified Lover Boy. Um, a lot of artists like uh, Lil Uzi, Future. Okay. They, they've been wearing that now. Um, you know, stepping away from certain brands and wearing that now. Yo, so here's an art tip for you. Make sure that you give yourself plenty of time when you're doing the mural. I'm somebody who's extremely optimistic and like want to make my clients happy. So when they're like, you know, we want this project done within a week, I'm like, don't worry about it. We could do it in a day. Always give yourself plenty of time. I did wrap this project up within two days, but make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to take a step back if you need to, because there's gonna be a lot of details that you didn't encounter or didn't understand before taking on the project. So make sure that you give yourself a buffer of two to three days just to make sure you're taking care of yourself.